Now an update on a WSAZ investigation, no ambulance. For weeks we've been sharing stories out of Wayne County with residents calling 911 only to learn no ambulance was available. But after our stories, the Wayne County Commission taking action this week. Commissioners finalizing a plan to pay for long-term solutions. News Channel 3's Curtis Johnson has looked at the proposal and reports how it will impact your family. No ambulance available. Our WSAZ investigation finding that is a growing reality and concern in Wayne County. Wayne County 911 asking this family to drive their loved one to the hospital with chest pain. That man survived, but Melissa Foster's family left reeling after their call for help was met with the answer. No ambulance available from the nearest station. An ambulance eventually arrived from another station, but Melissa died at her home. Leaves a lot of what ifs. I mean, if they would have got there, somebody there got there on time, she could still be here. And then, just last week, Wayne County 911 logs show no immediate ambulance for a call on Old Camp Creek Road. A 17 year old boy moving furniture when he passed out. The nearest ambulance station, a half mile away, did not answer the call, forcing his loved ones to wait for an ambulance from 10 miles away. The 17 year old boy was taken to the hospital but did not survive. I've been taking the issue to local officials for months, asking how this could happen. I found ambulances in Wayne County come from volunteer fire departments that are not always staffed. According to state law, it is the duty of county commissions to provide emergency ambulance service. So in December, I asked Wayne County Commission President Jeff Maddox for his solution. There is no immediate resolution to the problems that we're having right now. A week after our story aired, progress at a county commission meeting. I think that we will roll out a plan for this in the next 30 days. Tuesday, days before that deadline, county commissioners finalizing a plan to provide long-term funding for EMS. Commissioners voting to add EMS to an existing excess levy that will appear on the May primary ballot. If the levy gets a 60% yes vote needed to pass, it would maintain funding for the health department and libraries, with a small increase to support firefighting. Volunteer fire departments would also receive an additional $50,000 a year to supplement EMS salaries in their community. The biggest change? The levy would provide funding for two county-owned ambulances with around-the-clock staffing. Commissioners say the proposal would generate a little less than $3 million per year over four years, costing a family with a $160,000 home about $112 per year, meaning residents would see an increase of about $90 a year from what they currently pay. But commissioners say the value of that cost is priceless. In my mind, the approach will just be simple. If you want better ambulance service, continued fire protection, and the other benefits of this public service levy, then you'll vote yes. You'll look at it and see, this is what I'm getting. It's like anything else in life. If you want something, you got to pay for it. So I took the proposal to Melissa's family, her husband calling it welcome news. But with voters saying no to a similar measure in 2018, Melissa's family says they hope this time will be different. The last time this levy was put before voters, 65% of people voted against it. How important is it that they pass it this time? It's very important to pass it to where we got to have help out there. You know, when you call at 911, you're expected to have somebody come help you. Know? We need that to save another life. If we save one life, it's worth it. If you could speak to voters, Robert, what would you tell them? Please pass this levy. We, we need it. Too many people have died. Curtis Johnson, WSAZ News Channel 3, Wayne County. Now, the only problem, if passed, the county would not see the first dollars from that levy until July of 2025, more than a year away. Commissioners say they are working on a short-term plan, but they have not yet provided us with any details. The governor also getting involved, telling us last week he will meet with Wayne County commissioners to look at their budgeting with hopes to help.